this period of time allows you to focus upon the medium that drove all this excitement in the first place, which is they're still making and selling comic books. You can actually go in pretty much every city to the comic store that you would frequent, hopefully you would frequent, and get access to this stuff. Comic stores are not usually ganged up with a ton of people in them anyway, so they're more safe than the average store. So you're not necessarily going through huge exposure and you can buy this thing that you take with you that you then have the core entertainment that inspired us all in the first place. That hasn't changed. We can still make comics just like they can make animation now where they can't necessarily film things. Comics are a medium that can survive this particular kind of shift in life. There still is something to put your time to which was kind of the point in the first place. Movies are great to put attention upon the properties. I love the fact that everybody knows who Iron Man is now and he's one of the most important superheroes in the world, but less than 20 years ago he was generally unknown to majority humanity and this has come to change with all these main characters, characters I've adored that many, many people have adored for a long time, but we've been caused to feel like we were this small cult that followed these things, these wonderful things. And now the world understands, yeah, they are wonderful and they deserve your appreciation. But the medium they came from, that storytelling medium, has a lot to give and was always what the thing that delivered these great iconic ideas them being translated in other media hasn't necessarily translated back to show the same love and attention back to that art form. There isn't the same spillover as there maybe had been in years past where people are trying out comic books after going to see a movie about the Avengers or Black Panther or whoever. That should have been happening. It hasn't happened as much as it ought to.